So JoJo Siwa, maybe you've heard of her, maybe you haven't. She's the girl, she started out as a child star in YouTube. She's the girl with the blonde pigtails that come out of her head. Um, that's sort of her signature look and, and, and sparkles on her cheeks and on her lips. Like, I don't know, maybe you've seen her. If you haven't, then I just described, I don't know, a unicorn doll. Um, but the point of this is, now that she's reached the age of 18, for the past couple of years, she has embraced this LGBTQ identity and she's, she's honestly, she's teaching it to children is what she's doing through her YouTube videos and her Instagram videos. She has had a tremendous influence over the very young children in our country because she's billed as children's entertainment. Um, super destructive influence that she's having on our children and she's become somewhat of a... Um, militant LGBTQ activist, which is why she says she will never talk to Candace Cameron Bure. Again, now Candace Cameron Bure is uh, BJ Tanner from Full House, of course, we all know that, who has starred on the Hallmark Channel for the past umpteen years in these really feel-good, happy ending type of Hallmark movies. Candace Cameron Bure left Hallmark, though. This is the first year she's at the Great American Family Channel. And the reason she made the switch is because Hallmark started featuring uh, man-man love stories and uh, deliberately placed in their movies some kind of LGBTQ agenda or character in every single movie. She moved to the Great American Family Channel because she said she um, she wanted to focus on stories that portrayed traditional marriage. Shouldn't be anything controversial about that, right? She said nothing negative about any particular gay person for being gay. She just said she wanted to focus on projects that had an element of faith and that focused on traditional marriage. And this is what Jojo Siwa said in response. By the way, maybe I should back up for a second and say a couple months ago, Jojo Siwa issued a public and false allegation against Candace Cameron Bure saying that Candace Cameron Bure was the rudest celebrity that she'd ever met because she at one point ignored Jojo Siwa on a red carpet when Jojo came up to Candace and wanted to take a picture and said that as a result, she named her publicly as the rudest celebrity. Candace Cameron actually called Jojo Siwa after that public allegation and said, when did this happen? I would never deliberately, deliberately slight you in that way. And it turns out it was a total misunderstanding that she actually didn't see the child approach her because she was busy working on the red carpet. Um, something Jojo probably should have clarified before slandering Candace Cameron's name publicly, but... Um, Oh, just a little background on their previous relationship. But this is what Jojo Siwa said in response to Candace Cameron's public announcement that she was moving away from the Hallmark Channel to the Great American Family Channel because she wanted to focus on stories that centered on traditional marriage. Jojo Siwa said, we have not talked and I don't think we will ever again. That's what's effed up, she said. You not liking gay marriage, do your thing, girl. You being religious, do your thing, girl. Of course, I would want everyone to do what they want to do, but to purposely exclude someone because of who they love, that's bleepity. So she's insinuating, Jojo Siwa's insinuating that by Candace Cameron wanting to do faith-based movies that focus on traditional marriage, that that is somehow discriminatory towards gay people. And when I heard this comment, I thought, well, this is very interesting. This is very interesting because this illustrates, first of all, exactly why I don't support the gay marriage bill that's in Congress right now. But more importantly, it's a lie. It's a misrepresentation. It's, it's simply not true. Jojo Siwa says that Candace Cameron Bray is excluding gay people from her movies on Great American Family Channel, and that's not the case. And if she had looked at Candace Cameron Bray's Instagram, which Candace used to post to address this publicly in detail previous to JoJo's comments, then JoJo would have seen the truth. This is what, this is what Candace Cameron Bray said. She said, I am a devoted Christian, which means that I believe that every human being bears the image of God. Because of that, I am called to love all people, and I do. If you know me, you know that I am a person who loves fiercely and indiscriminately. My heart yearns to build bridges and bring people one step closer to God, to love others well, and to simply be a reflection of God's huge love for all of us. To the members of the media responsible for using this opportunity to fan flames of conflict and hate, I have a simple message. I love you anyway. To those who hate what I value and who are attacking me online, I love you. To those who have tried to assassinate my character, I love you. To everyone reading this of any race, creed, sexuality, or political party, including those who have tried to bully me with name-calling, I love you. 
I have long wanted to find a home for more faith-based programming. I'm grateful to be an integral part of a young and growing network. I had also expressed in my interview, which was not included, that people of all ethnicities and identities have and will continue to contribute to the network in great ways, both in front and behind the camera, which I encourage and fully support. I've never been interested in proselytizing through my storytelling, but in celebrating God's greatness in our lives and through the stories I tell. Beautiful statement, by the way, beautiful statement. If JoJo had taken the time to go to her Instagram and read that, then she would have realized that Candace Cameron Bure has no intention of discriminating against, against LGBTQ people at this new network. She simply is going to focus the stories centered on traditional marriage. 